Okay, we're going to start Chapter 3 right now, Statistics. This will cover in your workbook from pages 109 to 114. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is a review of organizing data. Okay, it's important to uh, know how to organize your data first before we talk about um, the concept we're going to do in 3.1, which is uh, arithmetic mean, median, and mode. So we'll, we'll be talking about something very simple here. I'll keep it short and to the point. So the first concept we're going to talk about in organizing data is what we call a stem and a leaf plot. So what we'll do is we'll just start out with a random set of numbers. Okay, so I'm just going to write down, oh, maybe 10 random numbers in, not in any kind of particular order. Okay, so I'll just make them up as I go. Okay, so just bear with me here. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, let's put 12. Let's do 12 numbers on here. And let's do 45. Okay, now oh, let's make do this. Let's do let's do 14 again. Okay, so we have a, a set of random numbers, and uh, when we're talking about a stem and leaf plot, something that you haven't heard of before, it's just a way of organizing numbers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a table. Okay, and the way we'll, we'll do this table is we'll make it like this and we'll call this column stem and we'll call this the leaf and what we're going to do is we know our largest number is 63 so we're going to have to have a whole bunch of different rows here and we're going to start out with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For, we go to our largest number, which is 63. We want to make sure, starting at 0, that we've got uh, 6. Now, these numbers here in the stem refer to our tens column, the first digit in the numbers. And the leaf would be the second digit. So what we'll do is we'll go through the numbers here. Um, from 14 all the way over to 45 and we're going to organize them. Okay now the stem, the zero column means that uh, we have uh, no tens digit so um, we'll start with 14. Now we know what 14 is 10 plus 4 so we'll go to the one in our tens column and then we're going to place a 4 here. We'll go to the next one which is a 3. Now 3 does not have a, a, a a tens column. It's just three by itself, so that would go in the zero. So we'll write three there. Then we'll go to 12. Well, 12 is 10 plus 2, so there's 10. And then we'll put a 2 there. 39 is 3. 30 plus 9, so we'll put a 9 here. Then 14 again, so we'll write a 4. And then 22, write a 2. 44 is 40 plus 4, then 7, so 7 would go here. 55 is 50 plus 5, 63 would go here. Then 25, right there, a 20 plus a 5. Then 31, put a 1 here, and then 45, we put a 5 there. Okay, so this is what we call a stem and a leaf plot. We've organized it as the numbers appear on our line. What we want to do once we've done the first, we'll call this table one. With the first table, is just write them down. In the second table, and you'll be asked to do this, I'm sure, in one of your questions. Um, we'll label that table two. And we're just going to rewrite the stem and leaf plot. Okay, we'll have the same number of rows and columns. Okay, so I'm just going to reproduce it. And I'll put 0, 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, and 6. And I'm just going to go over to my leaf uh, column in my uh, zero stem, and I'm just going to put them in ascending order. Okay, so they're already in ascending order, so I'm just going to write a 3 and a 7. And I go over here to my tens column. I got 4, 2, and a 4, so I'm going to write that in ascending order, which is a 2 and then a four and then another four and we have to have the fours to, uh, two fours in there because we know that we've got two fourteens we have to make sure that we have all the numbers in there and then 25 two and a five is already in ascending order then we have a 91 well one is before nine so we write 19 45 that's already in ascending order and then we have a five and then we have a three so what we're going to do here is we're going to use table two right here to rewrite this line of numbers and now it will just be in ascending order so it'll go 3 7 and then 12 and then 14 and then 14 and then sorry 22 then 25 then 31 going to the three column here 31 then 39 and then 44, then 45, and then 55, and lastly 63. Okay, so this is a long drawn out way of taking this line here and taking all the numbers from whatever random order they're in and putting them into ascending order. Okay, because we need to have all the numbers in ascending order from lowest to highest in order to carry on with uh, some of our other concepts uh, in finding uh, median and mode. So in this uh, particular uh, part of the chapter 3.1 we're going to be talking about mean, median, and mode and which are all measures of central tendency and uh, this first video will be talking about arithmetic mean. Uh, all arithmetic mean is uh, is a fancy word for average okay and it is uh, noted by the symbol X with a line over it okay this is a symbol for mean and all mean is is the average alright so if we were to find the arithmetic mean of these numbers here all we would do is we just add them all together and we would divide by the total number of numbers that we have so we would just take all these numbers 3 plus 7 plus 12 plus 14 plus 14 plus 22 plus 25 we would do this all on our calculator plus 31 plus 39 plus 44 plus 45 plus 55 plus 63 and we would just divide that by the total number we have okay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and we have 13 numbers there. Divide that by 13, and we would have an average of an average of 28.769. And if we wanted to round that to the nearest 100, that's the second digit, we would have an average of 28. 0.77 and if we wanted to average that out to the nearest tenth which is the first digit it would be 28.8 and that would be our arithmetic mean of all these numbers added up and divided by the total very simple concept arithmetic mean Okay, so now that you understand this, your job is to finish all the questions in your workbook up to page 114. All right, good luck, go at her.